Okay, this is Visual Basic Part 2. Let's add some controls here to our form. So let's start off with a, a button. So we can click and drag it. Okay, we can change the properties of our button, right? Change the name. So actually, before we even continue moving on, I want to talk about my application here. What I want to do is create an application, a message application that has three buttons, a message area that will show me a message when I click a button, it will clear the message when I click the other button, and I will exit out when I click the third button. So this is the first button here. So let's change the uh, text, let's change the name of that to show. scroll up. We're going to also change the name. This is the area where we're going to reference this name in the code. So that's why we want to change it here. Okay, so we want to sh put show button. Okay, notice it changes it here to show. Now we'll do the same thing. So you're going to do the same thing with uh, the clear button and exit button. So go ahead and do that. Okay, notice how I have these three buttons now, right? Show, clear, and exit. The clear button, the name of it is clear button, exactly the way like that, written. The text property, which is what comes up here, the caption, is clear. Exit button, text is exit, name is exit button. Now notice how these are all, it's not aligned, so we want to align it. The way we do that is, let's suppose we want to align it with this button. So we want it to be at the same line with the show button. So we click on the show button. So we selected the show button. We're also going to we're going to press control on the keyboard, select the clear button and select the exit button. We sh we we are uh, we're selecting the show button first because we're going to use the properties of this, the height and the the location of this button. Uh, that uh, will mimic, or these other buttons will mimic this, the location of this button. So here we go, format, align, we'll go with tops. So click on tops, notice how everything is aligned to the top of this button. Let's go with format, let's go with horizontal spacing, because this one, notice there's less space here, more space here, so we want to make sure spacing is the same. So we go with make equal. And now the spacing is exactly the same. Let's import a label from the toolbox. Okay. So here we go, label. Okay, we'll place it above here, align it to the show, change the name or the text. To result, okay. We don't necessarily have to change the label name. We're not going to be messing around with it in code, so we leave it at that. We're also going to be importing or placing another label here. Okay, we'll call this one the name message label. Okay, it's very important we call it something that we can remember because we're going to be uh, coding and we need to remember that. Okay, there's some other properties here here that I want to change. All right, so some of the properties we want to change. So we change the name here, uh, auto size. Let's change that to false. Okay, what else here? Border style, fixed single. Notice how our label is changing. S scroll down. The text, we don't want any text here. So we delete that text. Let's take a look at our. Let's increase it a little bit here. Okay, 
can make it as big as we want. Okay, we'll leave it like that. So the purpose of our application is we click on, we, we're going to press show, and a little message is going to come up. We click on clear, the message disappears. We click on, we click on exit, and we close our application. So now we're going to have to code this. We're going to use a Visual Basic programming to code these buttons so we can get the result. Okay, let's save. Let's press save all. Let's save our uh, work first. Oh, another thing before we get started, let's uh, let's uh, right click on our form. Let's lock the controls. So we lock the controls so we can't move this now. So that's how we lock our controls. Whoops, let's close that. Okay, so that's how we lock our controls. All right, so now we save. Now let's go to view code. So under view code, your code should look something like this. Um, here at the top, we have the message form. We have declarations. What we want to do is, I mean, obviously we have certain certain uh, controls here, right? We have the show button control, clear con clear uh, button control, and so on and so forth. We have the label message uh, but uh, label control. So these are all objects, okay? These are all objects, and we can mess with these objects. So here, when we're on the code, what we want to do is let's start with uh, the exit button. So on our code, we're going to look for the exit button. We're going to click under the message form, little arrow there, down arrow. We're going to choose exit button. So uh, there's an event that's associated with the exit button. That event is if we click it, if we click on that button, something has to happen, right? So that's what we're coding. And that's what all this stuff means. Okay, so we're not going to go into the explanation on this. All right. So here, what we want to type is me or me dot close. Okay, and we press enter. All right, so this is signifying that me signifies the form, and the event is closed. So notice, this is the object, and this is the action of this object. All right. Now let's choose the clear button. Okay, so we'll choose clear button choose click that's our event all right we have a little area here where we can start coding all right so what we want to do in this code is clear if we take a look at this we want to clear this label all right we want to clear this label so this is our object but what's the name of our object all right, I have it selected there let's scroll up it's called message label okay so now I go back to my code so I remember that my uh, object name is message label and there it is. I'm going to click on that. Okay. I'll put a little dot cuz that's my object message label. Now what do I want my object to do? I want it to clear the message there, right? If we go back here, our message remember was text. It's this area. Remember we erased it. So we're going to type in text is equal to okay message label dot text this is the property of that message label text is equal to and we we don't want anything there right we want it to be blank that's the clear button so we put in quotation marks start quotation mark and quotation mark we can press enter or we can click elsewhere so we can see the result uh, of our code there. Okay, so we'll save it. Okay, last part we want to code is the show button. Okay, so here we go to the show button. 
do what, what do we want the show button what happens when we click on the show button so we want to program the event when we click on that show button okay so what, what's gonna happen when we click on that show button? we're gonna get a message here so what is this thing called again message label so here we are we're gonna mess around with that message label dot the property of the message label is text it's going to equal to and this is going to be our message here so I'm going to put hello you're going to put your name right hello my name is and then you're going to put your name and this is our message this is what we want to put so I could click somewhere else okay so you're going to you can add as you know a little bit more stuff if you want to okay but make sure you put your name there let's save it we'll save all here with this button we save all okay now we can run our application if you can tell we have a little green arrow button here so we can click on that so let's go ahead and click on that Okay, so here what comes up is our application we just created, right? We have a la our labels, our buttons here. Uh, here's the message. Here's this. So if I press show, if I click on the show button, I should get my little message there. And there it is. Hello, my name is Mr. Morales. I can clear it. I can show it again. Clear. Okay. I can exit out. Okay, and I'll back. I'll be back to my. Visual Basic Programming phase here. Okay, so you've just learned how to create your first application. Okay, so make sure you save your application. Let's go to the desktop under the Visual Basic folder that we created. Right, we go into Project One. We go into uh, OBG folder, debug. And see this file here. This is what I want you guys to send me using the digital Dropbox so under the digital Dropbox you're going to click browse the visual basic folder project one Daniel Morales project one OBJ folder debug folder and here it is Morales Daniel project one e dot exe that's what I want you to send me and then you submit this is this concludes visual basic